Oh, and you tell all the writers out there in New York City that the stage is set. This man is ranked as the greatest punter since Rocky Marcella, since Joe Lewis. I want no excuses about George wasn't in shape. No excuses about he's worrying about his cut eye. No excuses about he's, he was sleepy because he didn't get no rest. Because when I whoop this man, I want to be declared by all as the greatest of all time. Right. Because the stage is set. I'm 32 years old. My legs are gone. This man is strong. You talked about how great he was. And now we're going to see. Get them all out at your theaters. And you write everything you write. But I'm going to make you eat everything you say against me. All of my critics. I don't prove it well that I'm still the fastest, the prettiest, the most classic, the most scientific, the greatest fighter of all time. Championships pay per view action. Alongside my partner Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip. Hey, the first one was so good, they're going to do it again. We got a much anticipated rematch in our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. The cooler's supremely confident here. Look at him make his way down to the ring. You can just see it in every step that he takes. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Of course, he's coming off of an impressive knockout. A battering oh, shot know. by the cooler. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Ali's jab has to be first and foremost on his to-do list, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, I would say so. You ever see that commercial where the guy says, how do you spell relief? Sure. Well, it's kind of like, how do you spell victory in this fight? J-A-B. That's exactly the way you go. That's what he wants. The cooler's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. There's the combo to the body. To the head he goes with a left hand. Comes with the right. If the low stamina fighter does not get rid of a high stamina fighter in the early going of a fight, what can he possibly do 
to try and secure himself a win. But one thing he's going to do is grab a lot of... What a big shot. He goes down for the first time. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, and now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy if you're this. Did you see that? He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? a shocker here out of early on a knockout victory and does it with one shot that he never saw yeah it's a good one for the fans glad you tuned in to see it with us i'm joe tessitore alongside teddy atlas saying thanks for being with us
Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division between Muhammad Ali and Smokin' Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali's on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. Joe Frazier's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. This is the kind of fighter who puts butts in the seats, Teddy. Ali's got one punch power. He's dynamic. Hey, he reminds me of my school teacher and I hated that guy. He had that eraser and he could get rid of everything immediately. This is like looking in a mirror for Joe Frazier. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. Good right hand. Right to the belt line. What a big shot, that hook right on the gut. Halfway through round number one. What great boxing smarts, the counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he can continue on. It is done. punch one solid knockout that's all it took and i love the way he did it he tricked him into it he made him walk in a little bit and then bang for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great evening
Punch, punch, punch. Time. Okay. Nice work slipping the bag. What? Great upper body movement, kids. Side to side, eight times. I punch. Nice work slipping the bag. Seven times. One punch. Okay, okay, nice leads, kid. Move out of the way four times. Okay, okay, that was nice. Seven times. I punched one time. That was a nice slip six times. One punch. Okay, okay, that was nice leans, kid. I punched one time. Okay, okay, that was nice leans, kid. Five times. That was nice hustle, kid. Six times. One punch. Great work leaning out of the way, kid. I punched one time. Okay, nice work slipping the bag. Eight times. Great upper body movement, kid. We welcome you live to our night of pay-per-view action. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. This is the site of our championship fight. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. He's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. In the blue corner, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali! His adversary, by way of Denver, the kid, Dempsey! Okay guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room, let's touch gloves. Opening round here, see if they go the full 12 tonight. Ali's first opportunity to claim a crown. He's been thinking about this, visualizing this, playing this in his head for many years since he was a kid. He does road work, he thinks about it all the time. Now it's time to go act on it. What does the jab offer him here? See? It's as simple as that. It sure is. That right hand serving him well. Frustrating his opponent with great Fire, defense. Cover up! Matchup tonight, power puncher against a guy who's well conditioned. Now, early on, what do you look for in a matchup like that? You want to make sure that if you're with the power puncher, you don't go out there chasing after the guy. You use all your tools. You use your jab and you control him. You make him think about your power so he's not controlling around. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. There you go. Right hand downstairs. Cover up, cover up. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Fires right back at him. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Move your head. Good biting, snapping shot by Muhammad Ali. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stack computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Final 10 seconds. Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's it. 
Well placed, straight right hand. Ali's tag by a hook. Ali's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. And bang, and away he goes, targeting the head and landing with a bomb. Ali's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Oh, what an exchange! A flush hook scores well for him. Halfway through round number two. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Showing you some defense there with the block. Ali's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And we come to the end of round number two. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a little last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll him. He's going to blow on him. He's got to do everything. Muhammad Ali with the hook. <laughs> Digging in with a left to the gut. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Muhammad Ali is trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen first of all physically you have to revigorate the guy you know maybe massage the legs a little bit most importantly get some ice on the back of his neck you know get that blood flow going a little bit make sure that you revive him a little bit get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there counters with a crushing blow to the head really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counter-punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back. That's a huge left he just scored with. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Remember earlier he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Count down the final moments of this round.
As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. You better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Ali's blocking ability is doing well for him there. right hand that is boxing 101 a nice crisp combination by Muhammad Ali Muhammad Ali's doing a good job of putting his punches together his opponent's got to be wondering how do I stop this well right now hey you you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much you know he's just busy blocking the punches wondering about the combinations he's not getting off Seconds to go in the fourth. And round four comes to an end. Ali's showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart, accurate punching. And talking about IQs, it's being led by that left jab, an educated left jab. A jab that talks a little bit, talks a couple languages. I mean, he's hooking off it, he's uppercutting off it, he's doubling up on it. Good job. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's on the bad end of a plus solid hook. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. <laughs> Ali's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Left body. Protecting his head well with his guard. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got nice. the perfect platform, nice. the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, that's a big shot. Oh, he's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the end of round five.
We hear about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on. With that eye completely shut, the pressure is on. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Way to hit the target there. Jab uppercut. Blocks that belt line well. Comes right back at him with a left hand. to survive this. He's going to need a great will and desire to survive it. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Scores with the uppercut. You see some defense! Good block by Ali. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. And that's the end of round six. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a nice casino, nice he's rolling the dice. He's hoping oh, to come. there it is! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy oh wow he goes down again this is gonna be for the elevator fight up and down all night in prime form power surge here knockout winner tonight the first title of his career i feel like when you say happy birthday and many many more he's gonna have many more titles for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great evening